Hello everybody. So today we're going to be talking about mass percentage. Um, it's a fairly simple uh, concept. Um, it's literally just like the percentage of mass, like, like I said. Um, <clears throat> so this one says, what is the mass percentage? What is the mass percent of each element in ammonium nitrate? So <clears throat> this is sort of like a two part problem. They didn't give us the formula for ammonium nitrate. So some things you're going to have to know, some things you're going to be able to intuitively figure out. But basically, Ammonium nitrate is made up of ammonium and nitrate, right? But what is ammonium? Ammonium is NH4, right? Cool. Now, I know that NH4 has a charge of this. So it's NH4 plus, right? And these are just like, as you go on, like you get to know like the values of, of, of some of the compounds that we're dealing with. And this is, so I'm gonna write it, this is ammonium. Nitrate is NO3 minus, right? So, and um, I'm a little bit rusty on chemical nomenclature, which is like how to, how like these things come to get their names and how to, you might be able to predict what this is gonna be. But I mean, I just know this one. So um, this is nitrate, this is ammonium. So when you combine them together, how do you balance them out? This is a plus, this is a minus, so you're gonna end up having this. And you're gonna put parentheses around it. So that's ammonium nitrate. And this plus, it had a plus charge, that was balanced out with the minus, that was balanced out with the minus, or with the plus, right? So that's what we have, right? And it's asking for the mass percentage. Um, yes, cool. So now, I want us to look at what we have. So, you can do a few things here. And here, here so you're, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the mass of each of the, uh, so of the mass of my N, the mass of my H, and the mass of my O3. Now notice I didn't say the mass of my N again, because when I'm gonna combine the two masses into the total mass of the N, right? So, I know that, so I'm just gonna say uh, M, N, so mass of N, right? Um, that's gonna be two times whatever the molar, not molar, whatever the molecular mass of uh, nitrogen is. And nitrogen is 14.0067, it looks like. And that should be I don't know what that unit is. I think it might be AMU, but I'm not, I don't wanna, I don't wanna write the wrong unit. But um, it doesn't really matter because they're asking for a percentage, okay? So we're really gonna divide whatever unit is, this is by the same unit and it's gonna cancel out. But um, mass of H, it's gonna be four. And the reason I did two here is because there's one nitrogen here and one nitrogen here. The reason I'm doing four here is because there's one H here. So <clears throat> four times hydrogen is 1.008 and if you get different values for these numbers don't worry the concept is what I'm really worrying about here so like these could be totally different values and like the concept is what you're trying to understand here okay so but I think these values are correct um, mass of oxygen equals 3 times I think it's 16 point let me see 16.00. I know that that's 48. I know that um, this is going to be 4.032. I'm not going to attempt that in my head. Twenty-eight point zero one three four. So now here's what I want to do. I want to add all of these up. <clears throat> so, but like, let's look here first, right? We can see that like this number is the highest, right? So my mass percentage of oxygen, I'm going to expect to be the highest out of everything. This is the second highest, third highest, 
same thing, right? So I'm gonna add all these numbers up and I'm gonna get my total mass. So it looks like my total mass, I'll say totals, is equal to 80.0454. That's my total mass, okay? Now if I wanna find the mass percentage, I'm gonna say, uh, I'll just say mass percent. I'll just say percentage, honestly, because it doesn't really matter. Percentage of nitrogen is equal to, I'm gonna take this number over my total. So it's gonna be 28.0134 over 80.0454. And that's gonna give me 0 0.26, 263 I'll say, so 26.3%. Right? Now my percentage of hydrogen is gonna be that 4.032 over 80.0454. Now we can see how small of a number we'd expect this to be, right? 0 0.0503. Say 0 0.050, so that's about five percent, right? And now my percentage of oxygen is 48 divided by this whole thing. And that gives me 0 0.69, 0 0.59. Two point five five nine nine seven. So I'll say fifty nine point. I'll just say sixty percent. About that's what I have. So um, yeah um, so I can say twenty six point three in terms of mass percentage, right? Twenty six point three percent of this, uh, of the weight, of the mass of this whole thing comes from nitrogen, right? And remember I said that this was gonna be the most, this was gonna be the second, this was gonna be the third, that's what we got. 5% of the mass is hydrogen, and 60% of the mass is um, oxygen, right? And I know this number doesn't add up to exactly to 100, like it's, 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 um, it's, it really should add up to 100, shouldn't it? Let me just double check myself. Oh no, I made a mistake. That right there is incorrect. That's actually 0 .0 0 0.035. I don't know why it should add up to 100. And that, those are ways to catch yourself, okay? If it doesn't add up to 100, like mass percentage means 100, right? So I'm just gonna write 0 0.35, 0 0.3503, 0 0.3449, but um, 3499, 35%. So 35% of this thing comes from um, nitrogen, 5% comes from hydrogen, and 60% comes from oxygen, okay? So uh, be sure to try and catch your errors. errors. If you have enough time, just go back and add them up and make sure they add up to 100. But um, yeah, that's what we have. Um, it's not that tough, you know? Um, just be careful not to make little careless mistakes. I don't know what I pressed in my calculator, but something went wrong. But uh, if anything that makes sense, as always, please leave comments in the comment section. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's keep learning chemistry, okay? Thank you.